Welcome back, everyone. Was that not an amazing session? For those tuning in virtually, please continue sharing, commenting, sharing on social media, all of that great stuff. We're so excited to hear from you. As a reintroduction, my name is Claire. I'm a VP at GC Ventures, and I'm beyond excited today to have Tani Adewumi with me. To give a quick introduction, this kid is a 13-year-old chess prodigy. And he actually rose to sudden stardom at the age eight when he beat 73 other opponents and won the New York State Championship. All of this while he and his family were living in a homeless shelter in New York. Their family moved from Nigeria to the US as refugees in 2017 after their country and community was threatened by the terrorist group Boko Haram and forced to flee their country. But now, uh, uh, since the state championship, his trophies have actually only multiplied. And at 10, he was named a national master and he's currently an FIDE master. And ultimately he's reaching the goal of becoming a grandmaster. And beyond that, you're also a published author, you're a founda you have a foundation and doing active work in philanthropy. So I'd love to hear a little bit more just about your journey to chess, a little bit more about what got you interested and um, your, a little bit more about your, your story. Um, so basically how I started. Um, so Sean Martinez, um, our my coach um, before, mm -hmm. um, so he would come to our class and like in my third grade class, he would give us like 20, 30 minute lectures mm -hmm. uh, around that. And I got interested in it. So then I joined the chess club uh, and uh, yeah, I started on from there. Wow. And so it was really just something that came from school. Did you at all have an interest in chess from, you know, work your family or older siblings or? Um, I brought my brother, he did um, teach me how to move the pieces, mm -hmm. um, but I really started really in chess um, mm. in America. And so what made you interested in chess? Why, why do you still stay, pa what keeps you going and passionate about the game and, and uh, excited about this space? Um, I think because of basically chess has a lot of beauty. It's very creative. Mm -hmm. um, I think probably that's the reason too. Mm. Do you think it's ever too late to start in chess? I mean, even for I, me. <laughs> there is there is probably at some age where it's too late, but I, I don't I think it's not I think anybody can start at any mm -hmm. time and still yeah. Yeah, what would you say to I guess there are there are obviously a ton of adults, children. I think sometimes chess can be a very uh you know, formidable and, and uh a big thing that, that sometimes can sound scary and I'm sure at some point in your life that was the, the impression. And so how do you think people can join the world and community of chess? Um, I think for the, like the join the world and community of chess, um, I don't, I don't really get the question. Um, mm -hmm. but yeah, I yeah. I, I guess would love to hear a little bit more about, um, what ways people can get more exposed to, to chess. Um, what are some ways that they can you know, start learning about chess just because there's so much material out there. Yeah, you can go to chess sites. There's like, there's chess.com, okay. uh, chess kid, mostly for kids. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I think you can go on chess sites that can cool. uh, yeah, help you. I will definitely check that out <laughs> after. Um, and, and what really, what do you think was really your inflection point and what were the different habits or, or skill sets that got you to where you are now? Um, so in chess terms, I did a lot of puzzles, um, okay. puzzles, and I played a lot of games. Um, life terms, um, I just kept playing tournaments, mm -hmm. tournaments, and patience got better, things like that. So, mm. and what I guess moving away from your your past, looking forward, what are you most excited about in your journey in chess? Uh, is there a specific goal that you're working towards right now? Um, so right now I'm working towards Grandmaster. Okay. Um, I want to become Grandmaster uh, because it's kind of the, it's the highest title you can yeah. get in chess. Um, and that would be a great goal for me to achieve. Um, but there are some challenges. Um, uh, uh, first of all, playing in tournaments, um, mm -hmm. and traveling around food, everything, right? Mm -hmm. Um, airfare, it's going to cost a lot of money. Yeah. Um, so if there's any sponsors out there, um, then you can reach my dad um, at Kayode Adeomi at 24 yeah. at gmail.com. Um, K A Y O D E A D E W U M I 24 at gmail.com. So, yeah, yeah, that's amazing. And so, what is that actually for, for those of you tuning in virtually or, or walking by? 
um, the event. What is the process of actually getting to Grandmaster look like? Is it a series of many years of, of tournaments? Is it just rising above the ranking? What does that process kind of look like uh, for someone who doesn't really understand chess? So when you play a chess tournament, mm -hmm. um, there's a they, there's staying in chess called norms. Okay. And basically norms um, get you titles. It's like a special achievement mm. or um, how do I say it? Special, like how well you did in tournament, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, and then that can get you a norm. Mm -hmm. um, and then you need three norms okay. for a GM. Yeah. That's amazing. Are there any idols that you look up to or role models that you look up to in the chess space? Um, many strong players. Um, yeah. I mostly look up to like Hikaru Nakamura. I think Hikaru, um, he's very aggressive, um, has a nice positional style too. Mm -hmm. um, Magnus, so many top players. And how would you actually describe your playing style? <laughs> um, I'm mostly like, I'm aggressive. I okay. like to be, but like at some points when I need to be positional, when I need to dial down, um, basically positional for those who don't understand, is mm -hmm. like more stra strategic, like very slow mm. squeeze, right? Um, but like aggressive, tactical, is that you just attack very quickly. Um, so I like to be aggressive, but yeah. Uh, when I need to be positional, things like that, I will. Yeah, wow. And, and um, how does these chess skills actually, how do they apply to your broader life? How have they translated to other skills? Because I'm sure it's obviously been a massive part of um, your, your life story and, and your childhood, um, but would love to learn about how you think chess has translated to other skills beyond the game itself. Um. I would think chess helps with patience because mm -hmm. um, you have to wait for your opponent to make a move. You have to think. Um, it has a lot of deep thinking to it, um, a lot of strategy to yep. it. So I think that could help you in life too. Mm, that's super helpful. And I think would love to call out I, what you're doing at the summit. Um, today you'll actually be in our town square. And, and what are you going to be doing um, at the town square? So I'm going to be doing a simul. Okay. And basically at the simul, I'm going to play um, 10 players at once. 10 players. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And uh, yeah, we'll see. And how, how does that all work? How do you, are you intending on beating everyone or? <laughs> <laughs> I, I do. So. You do beat everyone. Okay. I, I actually do remember two years ago, Tani yeah. was here and I walked by and we had all these adults who were like, I'm going to beat this kid. And I think they were very pleasantly or maybe unpleasantly surprised by, by your skill. So if you're around um, in person, please do check that out. It will be a fantastic experience to, to get your butt kicked. Um, and then virtually, please do check out all of Tani's amazing work. Um, he has a foundation, as he mentioned. He shared his father's email um, and would love to just amplify his story and his vision. So thank you so much, Tani, for joining me today. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you all.